All right, you all, uh, of course, know my next guest from her years on Melrose Place and Allie McBeal. Starting tomorrow, she can be seen on the new ABC sitcom, According to Jim. Please welcome Courtney Thorne-Smith. You look very, you look fantastic. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, I'm, what, what happened here? What is this all oh, about? Oh, no, what happened? <laughs> yeah. Isn't that pretty, though? It is, you know what? It's, it's a, a lovely shade of sexy blue, cast. It? It's thank beautiful. Thank you so much. What, uh, what, what, can I rub too? Oh, that's yes, nice. Please. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sweet. Now, what, what, what happened to you? Uh, I slipped and fell. Good I know. story. That's sad. It's really good. So I can go now, then? Yeah, goodbye, everybody. You guys satisfied? Yeah. Excellent. No, what, what happened? I was um, at work and we were doing a bathtub scene, mm -hmm. and it was actually okay. Now you're happy. Yeah. And um, and it was the 13th of last month, and everybody was sort of out of it, obviously, because right. we we're all sort of traumatized. And um, I got out, and we weren't paying attention. There was no bath mat, and I just went and down on my wrist. Did you break it? Sprain it? I did. I broke it. Wow. Yeah. The sound guy keeps coming, saying, "Do you want to hear it? I have it on tape." You can actually hear the little you can hear like it snap, snap. Oh, apparently. I'm not I love quite that. ready. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this is this is lawsuit time, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, I hate to be like a vulture, but uh, I dream about getting hurt on the job like that. <laughs> Go after old NBC, get some sweet cash. Do you think it would affect how much they write for me? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. Wow. Okay. Well, no. Have you thought about that at all? Or no? Of course not. No, of course. <laughs> We're all love each other in TV. <laughs> we wouldn't sue each other. No. You know, I've been thinking about you uh, a lot lately. How have you been? And I'll tell you where I'm going with this. Okay, uh, we did this special, 50 Years of NBC Late yes. Night, and we uh, it aired uh, the other Sunday night, and we were showed a clip of me talking to you on the show, and you were trying to plug your movie, and Norm Macdonald yes. was sitting next to you. He was giving you a very hard time. Yes. And uh, I don't know if you've been getting any feedback about this from people. You know, we... it's apparently my best uh, talk show performance ever, and I didn't speak. Well, I did. I, I think... don't know what that tells let's you. Just, let's just walk down memory lane together, oh, shall we? Boy. What was the What was the movie? It was a Carrot Top movie that you were trying to <laughs> What's promote. Going... Now, oh, now I get my time to promote it. Yeah. Well, it came out about three years ago. And it's with Carrot and it's Top. Called, yes, chairman um, of the board. Oh, let's, let's just take a oh, look at this magic boy. moment. Enjoy. You are making a movie with Carrot Top, right? I made a movie with Carrot Top. Okay. <laughs> but uh, what's the movie going to be called? Well, really? I know what it's going to be called. Yeah, what's that? <laughs> Box Office Poison. <laughs> There's this movie coming out. Yes. Title undetermined at this point. Chairman of the board. Oh. All right. Do something with that, you freak. <laughs> I, I've got the board is spelled B O R E D. He's a bad, bad man. Now, that was the most unprofessional talk show segment I've ever presided over, and that's really saying something in eight years. Have you seen Norm since that night? Have you ever talked to Norm I about did. it? I did. I actually did an episode of his show. And I walked up to him and I said hello, and he said, I know you. I said, Yes, you do. He said, We did Conan together. And, and then, and I said, and you did that movie, and I said, and I said, you, uh, it's a B-O-R-D. And I said, yes, Norm, you did. He said, and then, and then I said, <laughs> and then I said, I can't believe you're doing Carrot Top. And I yeah, said, okay, yeah. now you're Chris Farley. Yeah, yeah. He just kept going he over the same thing over and, and over again. Going. No remorse for that man. <laughs> no. How is Carrot Top? Do you still see him at all, or? <laughs> no, but you know, the days of doing a not-so-great movie and having it disappear are done. That thing is on satellite all the time. It's amazing. It's another like another reason to not get satellite. Well, you know, it's it's even people like uh, Tom Hanks who've achieved all this, you know, great <laughs> stuff. They're still showing like Turner and Hooch round the clock somewhere. That's and whenever, a cute movie, though. Is it? Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know. I just didn't see it. I just assumed. <laughs> but you know, it's like there'll always there'll be some movie of his that wasn't so great yeah. that he still has to deal with, and he'll be walking down the street and someone's like Turner and Hooch, man. It's like I've got nine Oscars. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> he actually has nine. No one knows that. Really? The, the uh, this new TV show that you're doing is with yeah. Jim Belushi. Mm -hmm. Someone told me he's taking his shirt off. He does. <laughs> he likes to take his shirt off. Okay, that's gonna he get does. people he takes viewing. It off all the time. <laughs> I can't believe you don't have that clip. What? What clip? I don't think you'd have that clip. Clip of what? Of, of him? him naked. 
Why would I show that? That thing is going for a fortune on the black market. Yeah. A fortune. Yeah, okay. No, we can't get him to keep his shirt on. Really? He likes yeah. to take it off? You know, I worked on Mower's place for five years, and those guys were cut and muscular. And they wouldn't take their shirts off because they felt objectified. Guys feel objectified? Yeah. Yes, they do. I would did. love to be objectified. <laughs> my whole dream in my life is to be objectified in that way. But no, they were like, no, I'm a person, not a piece well, of meat. You know, the and they're opposite, covering they did. <laughs> really? Because on most shows, you know, women are in the bathtub. Wait a minute. Right. But that's true. And on that show, the guys were always showering or swimming or for no apparent reason. <laughs> on Melrose Place. Yes, yeah. they were. They were naked in, like, legal scenes at the law office. <laughs> Hello, I've got that brief. Oh, what happened? Speaking of briefs. Speaking of briefs, where are mine? Yeah. <laughs> Totally nude. Uh, well, the new show, according to Jim, premieres tomorrow night yes, it does. at 8.30 on ABC, so check that out. Uh, I hope your uh, wrist feels better soon. Thank you. It feels better already. All right. Courtney Thorne-Smith, everybody. We'll take a break. When we come back, Nick Rowe is going to be here, so stick around.